Hello and welcome to Second Drafts, everything you need to write, edit, and publish your way. Editing can be one of the single most time-consuming aspects of writing. Not only is it tedious, you shouldn't be the only one to handle it. As mentioned in our last episode regarding beta readers, getting an editor to review your work before you publish is essential if you want to turn an all-right novel into an up-all-night novel. After you've read your own work several times, you can become blind to all that's wrong with it, but your readers will no doubt see every typo and every grammar mistake that you make. Don't think you can get by just by having beta readers and reading through it a few times. Finding an editor and getting the right services can be overwhelming, so here are a few things to consider when you're searching. On the subject of price, there's always going to be someone cheaper but they won't necessarily give you the same value. You can get editing done for cheap on sites like Fiverr, but depending on the seller's background, they might not be providing you with a great edit. In order to find out who would be best, give them a chapter of your manuscript and request a sample edit. Most editors are willing to provide you with something so that you can have an idea of what they can do. After you receive the sample back, review it, perhaps with a friend who has better grammar than yourself, and if you like the value they're providing, then order away. Once you find someone who you can trust, after a few jobs, you won't even have to bother with thorough checks of their work. The best editors will save you time, and of course, embarrassment. So, moving on to the actual service of editing, what type of editing do you get done? There's copy editing, editing for grammar, spelling, etc. And there's a line edit, or content edit, that will look at things like characterization, pace, and the general structure and tone of the work. Early on, you'll want to spend extra to get line edits or content edits done. They're like having an extra beta reader who is actually from the publishing world. Hopefully, they've read a lot of books and are able to see what defines a good book from a great one. They can suggest places to improve the characters or plot. And the best editors will be able to tell you your own strengths and weaknesses within your writing. Once you've had this done a few times, and have a few novels under your belt, you can probably get by with beta readers if you have some good ones on your team. My partner Ethan and I just recently did a podcast on self-editing, and what you can do before hiring an editor to improve the strength of your novel. There are some great suggestions in that, so check it out with the link in the description. Ethan also offers his own editing services with competitive pricing. I've used his editing services since my second novel, and I haven't looked back. Remember, editing is not something you should think of as a choice. It can mean the difference between a 3-star and a 5-star review, and a casual reader to a rabid fan. That's all the time we have today on Second Drafts. Thank you for joining us. Be sure to ask any questions below in the comments. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future videos. And remember that Second Drafts has everything you need to write, edit, and publish your way. Do you want to support production of this YouTube series? Visit www.patreon.com slash and become a patron today.